DiCarlo. Hi, I'm Ashley Quinn. Uh, we're seniors at Merrimack College. And we are both bio majors. So for this semester, we're going to be doing a project on the chemistry of different foods. And this video today is on popcorn. Because who doesn't love popcorn? <laughs> Hope you enjoy. There are multiple types of corn. There is dent corn. This is more for livestock feeding. Then there's flint corn. This is more for decorations like you see in the fall. Then there's sweet corn. This is like the type of corn we eat, like corn on the cob. Then there's popcorn. This is a type of flint corn. It's the corn that we use to make popcorn. There are two types of popcorn. There is a snowflake shape. This is best for movie theater popcorn, ballpark popcorn. It's bigger and it pops bigger. Then there's mushroom popcorn. This is best for candy confections because it doesn't crumble. This is like the kind of popcorn that is sweet. There are different parts of the corn. There's those things that get stuck in between your teeth. That's the pericarp and the germ. And then the light fluffy part of the popcorn is the endosperm or starch. So you may think that popcorn is a chemical change, but due to the change of state of water converted to steam and nothing chemically new is made, it actually is just a physical change. This is the chemistry behind why popcorn pops. The kernel contains four, 13 to 14 percent of water. This water is stored inside and it needs to escape. It begins to expand and build up pressure as the water turns into steam. This happens at around 212 degrees Fahrenheit. As the popcorn kernel continues to heat to about 347 degrees Fahrenheit, the starch inside the kernel becomes soft like gelatin and the moisture vaporizes until the pressure inside becomes too great for the kernel to handle. It expands the kernel so much that it runs out of the room and the kernel eventually pops. Soft starch inside inflates and spills out, forming those odd shapes we see in our popcorn. The starch grows up to 40 to 50 times its original size. We see the popcorn jump because starch emerges and creates legs, catapulting the kernel into the air and then eventually into our bellies. Some fun facts about popcorn. Did you know that popcorn is actually a healthy snack? There's only 31 calories per cup of popped popcorn. It was also brought to the first Thanksgiving feast. And early Native Americans believed that there was a spirit inside the kernel of, of corn. And when it was heated, it grew angry and burst it with steam and made popcorn. Well, that's it on the chemistry behind the delicious popcorn we eat. I hope you liked our video and learned so much on how popcorn pops. And stay tuned until next time with our next food chemistry idea. Thank you.